Save a little for Mitt. Yeah. When I'm wild and I hope someone is smiling. They say I'm too grown, but I love just acting childish. In these times of stylish, hearing me in your whip, sit back, enjoy the beat, let me take you on a trip. I'ma try to make a verse where I don't curse. But I think I'm just cursed and I'm about to go berserk. It hurts when old heads asking when you having kids. But so man. What's up? How'd you feel about that Clint Eastwood thing that just came out? Clint Eastwood. Well, let me first say that he's a respected actor and director. You know, he didn't make my day with his comments, but uh, he did piss me off. And not so much him. I mean, he's an 82-year-old senile man at this point. But then you've got a lot of middle-aged white guys and their wives or whatever who just ate that shit up. It was just almost disgusting. But I'll get back to that in a second. Eastwood did a whole invisible Obama routine. Um, I've got Mr. Obama sitting here. And he's, uh, I, I just was going to ask him a couple questions. Which was, you know, to its credit, it was funny. You know, it had its moments. But for the most part, he was just, yeah, and you, uh, move over for Mitt and uh, Gitmo, he wasn't really saying shit. But, uh, you know, about, uh, I, I remember three and a half years ago when Mr. Obama won the election, and uh, though I wasn't a big supporter, I was watching that night when he was uh, having that thing, and they were talking about hope and change. And they were talking So, Mr. President, how do you uh, how do you handle uh, or how do you handle promises that you made when you were running for election, and how do you handle uh, how do you handle it? I mean, what do you say to people? Do you uh, do you just uh, you know? I know people uh, people were wondering. You don't you don't have it, okay? Well, I know even some of the people in your own party were very disappointed when you didn't close Gitmo. And I thought, uh, well, I think get closing Gitmo, why close that? We've spent so much money on it. Uh, but uh, I thought maybe it's an excuse. Uh, oh, you, what do you mean, shut up? It was unrehearsed. Kind of like these videos, but I'm not a big-time, big-shot actor either, right? So let's get down to it. He said hardly anything about what he liked about Mitt, just his unhappiness with certain things that the Obama administration has come under fire for. He gave Obama a little bit of credit for something, but you know he, he really couldn't get his thoughts together on what he wanted other than he just was tired of Obama. Fine, everybody has a right to their own opinion, but at least be consistent in your thoughts. You were there to support Mitt, were you not? It wasn't our late. Get up here and bash Obama at that. But that's what you turned it into. So, my next whole thing with this whole Clint Eastwood thing was, what were you doing up there in the first place? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what's a movie tradesman doing uh, out here? I mean, the last I understood, you never were in any political rallies or events or anything like that. You just decide to show your face at this one thing. 82 years old at that. I mean, I'm knocking you for being an old fart doing that, but you had no bearing whatsoever. You brought nothing to the table. I hope you're funding that campaign if you strongly oppose Obama, Clint. But. That is a disgrace, a national disgrace, and we haven't done enough, obviously. Uh, this administration hasn't done enough to cure that. And uh, whatever, whatever uh, interest they have is, is not strong enough. And I think possibly now it may be time for somebody else to come along and solve the problem. What do you think about the whole thing, Pop? I mean, because it made me very angry. I mean, guys at work were just going in on this. And, you know, I said, you know, as soon as I get home, I'm going to speak on this. How do I feel about it? 
Hmm. Honestly, as far as how I feel about Clint Eastwood, it doesn't make me feel any better or worse for him. Honestly, he was probably paid. Um, I just think it's interesting that his political party decided to rally around an actor. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but typically these types of people are typically who are this type of conservative are usually Christians, more or less. And if I'm not mistaken, Christians typically don't like liars. And if you're an actor, you typically make your trade off of lying in front of the camera. Now, why you would wish to support this person, as you would say a prostitute, you know, is beyond me. But I digress. The fact that your political party seems to rally around such a person with their high moral fiber and all um, baffles me even more seeing as though he doesn't really relate or really can relate at this point to anybody who's really struggling like let's say the 23 million unemployed people 23 million unemployed people in this country and it's all well and good that you cried over it but realistically how many of these unemployed people are you really helping by the fact that they actually created some of this stuff is just appalling to me too. Newsflash, you're saying Obama didn't do anything to cure this? Uh, didn't you guys create a lot of that? When somebody does not do the job, we've got to let them go. I mean, why is Clint Eastwood there in the first place? Where was Bush, Bush Sr.? Where were any of those people at? Oh, they weren't invited? Sounds to me like a pile of horseshit. Secondly, let's take a look at this clip right here. Roger. What do you want me to tell Romney? I can't tell him to do that. that can't do that to himself. You're, you're crazy. You're, you're absolutely crazy. That's a Of course, we all know Biden is the, Biden, Biden is the intellect of the uh, Democratic Party. So we, uh, right. You're getting as bad as Biden. Yeah. Now, that was more disgusting than the first time I saw two girls, one cup. Ugh, I just wanted to hurl looking at that. Well, we got a special guest here today. I'm about to bring him out hey, right everyone. now. Invisible Nick. You like that, don't you? So, Mitt, tell me about your views. What's that? You don't have any. Wait, 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 wait. You hired a council group of people to help you talk to black folks? Why do you even need that? Why can't you talk to us just like you talk to everybody else? What's that you say? You gotta leave. You're headed to the strip club now? Oh, because you got church in the morning. Gotcha. You know, I'd come out there with you, but last I found out, I'm still a cursed descendant of Ham, aren't I? I could somehow turn white if I, you know, purify myself. Do I gotta wear that special underwear? Are you wearing that when you go to church in the morning? Well, it's been fun, guys. Any more thoughts, Pop? No, good. All right. For the Notorious Pop, the Rap Ninja, and Mitt Romney. You know.